the earth crust, a changing world. Greetings, fellow explorers. Today, we are going to dive into the world of earth crust and discover how it's always changing. Let's begin with the plate tectonics. Did you know that our planet, our layer, call it the crust, is made up of giant puzzle pieces called it plates? These plates are always moving, and we call this process plate tectonics. Imagine two puzzle pieces, okay? Two puzzle pieces sliding against each other. This is what happens when plates collide, like at the Rocky Mountain. Or imagine two puzzle pieces moving apart, like the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, where new crust is forming. When plates move, they can cause volcanoes to erupt and earthquakes to shake the ground. Earthquakes occur when plates move against each other. Have you ever wondered why Africa and South America look like they fit together, like a puzzle? This is evidence of the theory of continental drift, which proposed that continents move across the Earth's surface. The crust is the upper part of the Earth, along with the upper part of the mountain. It's most less dense than the mantle, so the crust floats at depth increase, so does temperature, ranging from 200 to 400 degrees Celsius degrees, at a rate of 30 Celsius degrees per kilometer of depth. These movements of the Earth's crust also give rise to earthquakes. The earthquakes. <laughs> Since the friction between tectonic plates produce seismic waves that are transmitted to the surface, sometimes with terrible effects. And they also give rise to the continental drift. This is the movement of continental masses over time from the primitive supercontinents, call it Pangea, to the present configuration. So, Earth's cross is always changing due to plate tectonics. We've learned about plate movements, volcanoes, earthquakes, so Earth's crust is always changing due to plate tectonics. Today, we'll learn about plate movement, volcanoes, earthquakes, and continental drift. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope we'll meet soon. Bye-bye.